Wow! Pinocchio. He must have his poor father worried sick. Hmm. Still, that little fella some miracle. Imagine, Mr. Geppetto's wooden puppet brought to life by the Blue Fairy. She made his wish for a son come true because he's given so much happiness to others. Now Pinocchio needs me to guide him and be his conscience. So maybe one day he can be a real <laughs> well, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jiminy. First, you gotta go find Pinocchio. Huh? Hey, Jiminy, what's up? Hmm? Who are you? You shouldn't be here, young man. What? Are you okay, Jiminy? Huh? You mean you've heard of me? <laughs> well, I'll be. The name Jiminy Cricket's already spread far and wide. Really? You feeling all right? It's me, Sora. Sora, you say? Hmm. Gosh, I don't think I recognize you, but the name does have a familiar ring. Um... Oh, yeah! In the sleeping worlds, Real time does not flow. Unless one restores the world by waking it from its slumber, it will stay locked in a dream forever. Thus, you may encounter familiar faces, but they are just figments of the dream. In actuality, they are sound asleep, trapped within a world that is also sleeping. What's more, whilst someone may no longer dwell in the real version of a world, dreams may paint a fuller picture and restore what seems to be missing. The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe it's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So, how come you said I need to get out of here? <laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other. And you've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm. But where was I? Oh, yes. This is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack o mules of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora. From my friend Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? Shame on you, Pinocchio. Playing hooky and goofing off in a place like this? I'm sorry, Jiminy. I was going to school till I met somebody. Yeah, uh, two big monsters with big green eyes. <coughs> hmm? Oh, you don't say. And then what happened? They, uh, they tied me in a big sack. <coughs> oh. Sounds like you were horsing around. But I snuck off when they weren't looking. My nose! What's happened? There. You see where those tall tails will get you? But it's all true! Even the fella in the black clothes who said to play a trick on Sora! What? Now who was he? I've had just about enough of your fibbing. Hold on. I guess that part was true. Tell me, Pinocchio, did that man in black say anything else to you? Um, he sure didn't. Well, good. Hey, look at that! That star again! The Blue Fairy!
Why, Pinocchio? What has happened to your nose? Oh, um... Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Sir Jiminy? Well, you see, uh, Your Honor, uh, uh, Miss Fairy... Oh, please help me. I'm awful sorry. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'll never lie again. Honest, I won't. I'll forgive you this once. But remember, a boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. We'll, we'll be good. good. Won't we? Very well. But this is the last time I can help you. <gasps> that guy again. Forget him. If I don't find Pinocchio, he'll turn into a donkey like the rest of the boys. Right. Then let me help you find him, Jiminy. Really? I'd be grateful. But how in the world do you know Pinocchio? Oh, uh, um... Hey! Over there! I see him! Gosh! That is Pinocchio! All aboard, Jiminy! <laughs> Take it away! Yeah! Ha! 
Is she gonna make it? I don't know. But didn't you write her code? Some of it. But the rest is just... beyond me. She's an ISO. ISO? A whole new life form. Korra is the last ISO. And you created them? They manifested like a flame. They weren't really, really from anywhere. The conditions were right, and they came into being. For centuries, we've dreamed of a pure existence beyond our own. I found them in here, like flowers in a wasteland. They were spectacular. Everything I'd hoped to find in the system. Control, order, perfection. None of it meant a thing. The ISOs. They were going to be my gift to the world. There. Good as new. It's going to take a while for a system to reboot. So what happened? To your gift? Clue. Clue happened. He was built to create the perfect system, but endless potential can never, ever be fully realized. Clue saw the ISOs as an imperfection, so he destroyed them. He screwed up. No. He's me. I screwed it up. Chasing after perfection. Chasing after what was right in front of me. Right in front of me. Look too hard for one thing. And you miss everything else. And then, the people around you get hurt in the process. Like Xehanort, his single-minded thirst for answers created Ansem. We all have a little of that curiosity in us. So if we're not careful, any one of us could create an Ansem. <laughs> Great! They found us! We've been put on a new course. Goodbye. Quora! No, wait! She's removing herself from the equation. We can't just let her go. Yeah. No. Hold on, Sam. What about getting you to the portal? You shut them down from the outside. But Cora comes first, and we still have to get back your disc. Sam, if you chase two rabbits, you won't catch either. If this is a father-son thing, I won't butt in. But we should probably get back that disc at least, before Clue uses it to destroy the outside world. Come on, Sam. Right. Meet me on the flight deck, and get us some wheels. Wheels? What's your plan? I'm a user. I'll improvise. <laughs> Riku, I gotta save Korra too. I know. We will. <laughs> the dish should be somewhere on the throne ship. I saw it dock here earlier. Over there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. 
the flight deck. But Clue will be here any minute. We'll never make it. Don't worry. Riku's here to help. Yeah! 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 